So the Ottawa Police Force has done it again. Are you really surprised? Dreamweavers, before I get going, I do want to say I got lots of messages via Facebook, email, etc., comments, whatever. We've got in touch with a couple of people, so I will be writing the collab out very soon and sending you all parts, so stay tuned for that. But we got to get right into this. Crooked Cop Keeps Job. That's right. Ottawa cops, we know, have been the subject of, um, shall I say, shady spotlights in the past. Everyone knows the Vanier cops and, and anything that was involved with them was just corruption uh, right down top, top brass, right down to the street level, guys. They're all corrupt. Um, so here we are again with this new officer, uh, Constable Keith Heaton, who's also a family man. I believe he has a family of, I think, four kids or something, three or four kids. Um, that's not the case. The case is he pled guilty to 23 different charges. Um, that related to 19 different counts um, were for discreditable conduct and thinking about four four counts of um, unlawful exercise of authority something along don't exactly quote me but unlawful exercise of authority so basically the guy's just a bully walking around with a badge and a gun he's a thug um, apparently in 2010 uh, while attending um, an arrest at an apartment. They were searching an apartment. They spotted a woman they believed to be a prostitute or either a drug addict or both. Um, when he demanded for her to comply, she didn't listen right away. His response was to pepper spray the woman. Um, and that was in a statement that was an agreed upon fact statement. So he had obviously signed off that yes, he had pepper sprayed that woman. Um, now I'm not going to get into too much about why she did or didn't comply with what she was said. I don't know, man, but you got to understand when you come in, three or four cops bust into an apartment, the people that are in there are scared. So forgive them if they don't jump at every word you say. They're afraid you're going to shoot them. Um, so anyways, he pepper sprays that woman. Maybe she deserved it. Maybe she didn't. Uh, I'm not sure. But then, and again, in 2010, I think it was in March, they said. I remember that because March is my birthday. Um, they were, him and another officer, unnamed officer, were responding to a house. Uh, the call was a report of drug use in the house. When they knocked on the apartment door, no one answered. But they found the door was unlocked, so the officers invited themselves in. Wow. Talk about uh, unlawful entry right there. Um, so anyways, um, also, there was also complaints about going back further to 2008 or so. Um, in regards to him making a bust and not um, uh, not seizing the drugs or disposing of them properly, um, something along those lines. They're, it's a very gray area that I don't think they're going to tell us ever the true story of exactly what this guy did because you get discreditable conduct. Well, discreditable conduct could mean almost anything. That's a very vague statement. But here's what I want to say. After going through the article that I read in the paper and um, checking out what I could find online too about this guy, he seems like he's a douche. Um, he's got obviously, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, he's compensating for something. Um, they say most cops become cops for a couple of reasons. Um, my theory is that they were pussies in high school and that's their only way of becoming boss and getting back at the people in the world who picked on them in life. Um, but maybe there is still a few out there who actually do believe in upholding the law and protecting the rights of citizens. Clearly not this guy though. 23 charges and you know what's happening to him? Pretty much nothing. He's getting a um, demotion and he has to go back, back through retraining and he'll have uh, regular evaluations probably on every shift. But other than that, nothing. I mean, not a criminal charge will be laid and he's not even going to lose his job. Now if you or I or any other citizen pepper sprayed anybody for whatever and we then it was found to be an unjust reason or an, an unlawful a, a use of authority we'd be getting either a prison sentence or a hefty fine some probation you know um, I think a demotion would be the last of our worries <laughs> so I can't believe um, it's not the current chief though the current chief uh, actually did issue a statement because it was Vern White and we all know how loyal Vern was to our city, the big douche that he was. Um, 
And the current chief actually said in, in this statement, and I really uh, I give him credit for that, whether he agrees or disagrees isn't the point. Uh, this, the, the fact was, or the this decision was made by Vern White previously that he would not lose his job and that he would get a demotion. So uh, here we go. This cop pleads guilty underneath the, um, I don't know what you call it there, the, uh, the PSA, the Police Services Act or whatever. So uh, pretty sketchy for me. But again, they have issued a statement saying that there is no, um, you know, like policy for dismissing bad, quote unquote, bad cops. Um, certain circumstances may apply and situations may arise, stuff like that. However, um, Constable William Barlow was dismissed last year from the Ottawa Police um, Association after he mishandled an informant, which uh, put the informant's life at risk as well as um, the impending case. Um, so there's just an example of why one person could be um, dismissed. Um, another guy, uh, Ottawa police constable, uh, was fired after he attacked several officers and made threats to um, kill a few others after they had responded to his home during a, a domestic dispute. Um, so, you see, there's been officers that have been fired from the Ottawa police service for pretty much, you know, what I would say is legitimate cause. And then here's this guy who 23 counts and he's getting away with it. I have to think, uh, the day that I see Constable Keith Heaton on the street is going to be a sad day for both of us because I'm sure he'll hear about my video and he'll have something to say to me and uh, I'll be glad to exchange my opinion with you, Constable Keith Heaton. Actually, I, you're not even Constable anymore, are you? You've been demoted. Probably a little traffic bitch now. Enjoy that demotion for the next year, sir. I can't wait to run into you so I can tell you what a piece of shit I truly think you are. Have a nice day, everyone. This has been Fexed, signing off.